right friends welcome back to 13th week this is question and answer session part 2 let us look at the first question who is the honorable minister of state for skill development and entrepreneurship in fact this minister of state with independent charge for skill development and entrepreneurship was created for the first time please remember with the mission of developing the skills of around 500 million youth of this country for the first time nda government started this ministry and this minister of state with independent charge for skill development and entrepreneurship is rajiv pratap rudi rajiv pratap rudi is the minister of state with independent charge for skill development who got elected from saran parliamentary constituency in bihar please look into the next one social activist medha patkar has recently resigned from the answer here is aam aadmi party you all very well know the internal bickerings in the party aam aadmi party because of the revolt of prashant bhushan and yogendra yadav and removal of admiral ramdas because of all these things she is not happy with the developments that's why she resigned from the aam aadmi party and please remember medha patkar is the famous social activist who contested from mumbai northeast constituency during the last parliamentary elections on aam aadmi party ticket and got approximately 8% of the votes and now she resigned from aap because of the internal bickerings in the party friends look at the next question government sacked aziz qureshi after this nda government came to power last year the government advised several governors to resign some of them resigned and Aziz Qureshi even approached Supreme Court and later on he was shifted to Mizoram and recently government sacked Aziz Qureshi and in recent times he is the second governor to be sacked the first one was Kamala Beniwal and he is the second governor to be sacked now West Bengal governor Keshri Nath Tripathi will have additional charge of mizoram right please look into the next one all party delegation from dash has recently met the prime minister and has sought immediate intervention to stop the proposed construction of makeda to dam in karnataka we have already discussed in previous lectures this makeda to dam is proposed on the river kaveri by karnataka government and tamil nadu objected to the construction of makeda to dam recently all party delegation led by the deputy speaker tambidurai met the prime minister and expressed the concern of tamil nadu with regard to the construction of makeda to dam by karnataka but karnataka says it is only for drinking water purpose and the matter has gone to the central government and sharing of river waters especially kaveri river is not new between karnataka and tamil nadu let us see what the central government will do in this regard let us look at the next question name the state which passed a law that bans the slaughter trading and unauthorized transportation of camels camel is popularly known as a desert animal all of us know in india the desert area is in rajasthan so camel is the state animal of rajasthan camel is the state animal of rajasthan and the rajasthan government is very much worried because as per the latest statistics the population of camels came down to around 3 lakhs now the 
Rajasthan government passed a law that bans the slaughter, trading and unauthorized transportation of camels. And if anyone violates this, he will be punishable up to 5 years in jail. Right? Please remember, Rajasthan government banned the slaughter of camels. Camel is the state animal of Rajasthan. Friends, look at the next one. Six lawyers have recently filed a petition in a civil court to declare 17th century Mughal monument as a Shaiva temple. 17th century Mughal monument, Taj Mahal in Agra, recently six lawyers approached the civil court stating that it was the old temple of Shaivite sect, but the civil court quashed the petition filed by six lawyers. So, the answer here is Taj Mahal in Agra. Please look into the next one. Name the chief executive who stated that he will donate millions of dollars to charity. He is none other than Tim Cook of Apple. Tim Cook of Apple, who is the CEO of Apple, recently stated that he will donate millions of dollars to charity. Please remember the net worth of Tim Cook is roughly 800 million dollars. The net worth of Tim Cook is roughly 800 million dollars, which is equivalent to around rupees 5000 crore rupees as per Indian currency. Rupees 5000 crore rupees as per Indian currency without mentioning how much he is going to give, but he stated that he will donate millions of dollars to charity. Please remember the founder of Microsoft is Bill Gates. Jack Ma is the founder of e-commerce firm Alibaba in China. And remember, the largest firm in terms of market capitalization in the world is Apple. Its CEO is Tim Cook. Please don't forget. Look into the next one. Dash became the first woman president of Basketball Federation of India. Basketball Federation of India was established in the year 1950 and recently Poonam Mahajan became the first woman president of Basketball Federation of India. Poonam Mahajan is from Mumbai. She represents Mumbai North Central constituency. 34 year old, she is the youngest to become president for any federations of sports in the country. She is the youngest to become president of any federations or any sports federations in the country. And she became president of Basketball Federation of India. And please do not forget, Rupam Harish Sharma became the general secretary of Basketball Federation of India. Right? Friends, look at the next one. Murthy S. Kambhampati, a professor of biology, was selected for prestigious presidential award. Every year, United States, every year, United States gives presidential awards for excellence in mathematics, science and engineering mentoring. That means, the best teachers who mentor the students in mathematics, science and engineering will be awarded out of the 15 awardees this year. Murthy S. Kambhampati, he was awarded the prestigious presidential award. That means, Mr. Kambhampati is one of the awardees of this prestigious presidential award in United States of America, he will receive $10,000 from National Science Foundation. Mr. Kambampati is the alumnus of Andhra University, right? 
please look into the next one around 4000 indians were struck in strife torn country name the country amen we have already discussed in detail in the lecture part 4000 indians were struck up in the strife torn country and the indian government is making all out efforts to bring them back to the country please look into the next one as per the recent census in kaziranga national park all of us are well aware that kaziranga national park is in assam and the population of one owned rhinoceros kaziranga national park accounts for maximum population of rhinoceros and as per the recent population census the one owned rhinoceros population in kaziranga national park increased from 2329 to 2401 the answer here is 2401 and there is an increase of around 72 in spite of poaching of rhinoceros right at present the population of one owned rhinoceros in kaziranga national park is 2401 as per the latest census special vaccination drive is being done in selected 201 districts of the country the name of the program is mission indradhanush mission indradhanush what is indradhanush it is seven colors and similarly the vaccination is being done to prevent seven diseases the seven diseases names you can see in this slide to prevent this seven diseases this mission indradhanush is being taken up in fact this program was inaugurated on 25th december 2014 by the union health minister this program of mission indradhanush was inaugurated on good governance day you may ask one question what is good governance day the good governance day government declared good governance day on the birthday of atal bihari vajpayee which falls on december 25 and please remember december 25 is also the birth anniversary of Bharat Ratna Madan Mohan Malaviya who was associated with Banaras Hindu University right December 25 good governance day that day this program was inaugurated and this is being implemented from this month from April to July during this four months period special vaccination drive will be undertaken in 201 selected districts of the country these 201 districts are selected based on the census of vaccination these 201 districts are selected where the vaccination is less than 50% fully vaccinated people fully vaccinated people or less than 50% based on this criteria 201 districts were selected out of 201 districts 82 districts are in four states of hindi heartland uttar pradesh bihar madhya pradesh and rajasthan these four states of hindi heartland account for 82 districts right so please remember the special vaccination drive is Mission Indradhanush. Look into the next one. Earth hour was observed for ninth year. Earth hour was observed for ninth year from 8:30 p.m. to 9:30 p.m. on 28th March. This event was the brainchild of. Please remember this Earth hour was the brainchild of World Wildlife Fund, popularly known as WWF. This event 
was the brainchild of World Wildlife Fund, popularly known as WWF. Please don't forget. Please look into the next one. World Water Day is being observed on 22nd March since 1993. It is the initiative of United Nations. World Water Day is being observed on 22nd March since 1993. And the question here is, what is the theme for this year? The theme for this year is Water and Sustainable Development. The theme for this year is Water and Sustainable Development. Please don't forget, 22nd March is World Water Day and United Nations and this is the initiative of United Nations and the theme for this year is Water and Sustainable Development. The next question is with regard to water only. Who releases annual World Water Development Report? Who releases annual World Water Development Report? It is released every year by United Nations. The answer here is United Nations. Two points I would like to tell you in this regard. First and the foremost thing is water demand is going to be increased by 55% by 2050. Water demand is going to be increased 55% by 2050 and there is going to be a shortfall of 40% of water by 2030. There is going to be a shortfall of 40% of water by 2030. Please don't forget these two figures. Look into the next one. ICC took a decision. Recently, we had World Cup cricket. 14 teams participated. The World Cup was held in Australia and New Zealand. And the question pertains to how many number of teams are going to be participated in the next World Cup, which is going to be held in England. The next World Cup in the year 2019 is going to be held in England and how many teams are going to be participated? There are only 10 teams which are going to be participated. 10 teams are going to be participated in the World Cup in England and probably 10 full-time members of ICC. 10 full-time members of ICC. ICC means International Cricket Council whose headquarters is in Dubai and please remember 10 teams are going to be participated in the next World Cup in 2019 and the second important point is there are 10 full-time members of ICC and it appears that only the full-time members may get opportunity to participate in the World Cup and in addition to full-time members there are associate members and affiliate members and there is a remote chance for affiliate members and associate members to get a chance to participate in the World Cup as the number of teams got reduced to 10. Let us move on to the next one. Name the coach of the Australian cricket team which won the World Cup in 2015. We all very well know Australia won the World Cup for the fifth time by defeating New Zealand and the coach of the Australian cricket team is Darren Lehman. Please don't forget, Darren Lehman is the coach of Australian cricket team. Look into the next one. Recently, National Green Tribunal has directed the Secretary, Delhi Government and the CEO of Delhi Jal Board to be present on 1st April in connection with the environmental concerns of the answer here is Emuna River as they failed to prevent the pollution of Emuna River as directed by National Green Tribunal. They were called to attend personally the office of the National Green Tribunal. National Green Tribunal was established in the year 2010 and Mr. Swatantar Kumar is the present chairperson. Right friends, look at the next one. Railways plans to eliminate direct discharge toilets in trains by Railways plans to eliminate direct discharge toilets. What is the meaning of direct discharge toilets? 
all of us are using toilets in running trains as per the present system whatever the human faces that directly falls onto the track whatever the discharge from railway toilets is directly falls on track it has got two disadvantages that means direct discharge toilets in trains has got two disadvantages first and the foremost is it becomes difficult for trackmen to work because trackmen are required to do track repairs it becomes difficult for them to do track repairs the second important aspect is because of the discharge of human feces especially urine the corrosion of rails is increasing because of the discharge of human feces directly onto the rail tracks the rail tracks that means the rails are getting corroded keeping these two things in mind railways is going in for bio toilets in the bio toilets direct discharge onto the tracks will not be there they will be discharged at the location where the rakes are being cleaned so railways wants to eliminate direct discharge toilets in all the trains by the year 2020-21 as per the planning of the railways by 2020-21 all the trains will have bio toilets only please remember in the year 2015-16 as per the recent budget railways is going to convert 17000 toilets into bio toilets please don't forget railways is going to convert 17000 toilets into bio toilets during the year 2015 16 and they want to eliminate all the direct discharge toilets by 2020 21 this is the answer for this question look into the next one 17 people were killed when a suicide bomber attacked a hotel in mogadishu which is the capital of somalia name the organization which claimed responsibility for the attack when you are talking about somalia it is al shabab this is the organization based in somalia and recent attack of hotel in mogadishu the capital of somalia the responsibility was claimed by al shabab the organization in somalia boko haram nigeria al shabab somalia houthi rebels yemen hezbollah militia lebanon these things please don't forget please look into the next one at present the country has just five national waterways inland waterways authority of india looks into these aspects inland waterways authority of india looks into these aspects at present the country has five national waterways and in the recent meeting of the cabinet it was decided to declare 101 more additional inland waterways as national waterways please remember at present we have only five national waterways and cabinet took a decision to develop another 101 inland waterways and transportation of goods by water transport is cheapest of all that's why government of india wants to develop further inland waterways please look into the next one under national super computing mission india will install 73 supercomputers so as to enhance the research work the answer for this question is 73 under national supercomputing mission india will install 73 supercomputers so as to enhance research work and in supercomputers we are uh, lagging behind out of the top 500 supercomputers in the world we have only 9 and the first supercomputer indigenously made by india is param 8000 please don't forget param 8000 is the first supercomputer made by india and 
our position with regard to supercomputers is very much lagging right friends look at the next one a global energy summit urja sangam this was conducted by ministry of petroleum and this was recently held at new delhi important aspects with regard to this urja sangam we have already discussed in the lecture part let us move on to the next one human resources development minister smriti jubain irani has recently led foundation stone for iit triple it and iiscr in the state of andhra pradesh these are three institutions are proposed to be established near tirupati in andhra pradesh as per the state reorganization act andhra pradesh is getting 11 national level institutions and these three are proposed to be established near tirupati and recently minister for human resource development led the foundation stone for these three institutions near tirupati in andhra pradesh look into the next one name the party which became number 1 in terms of membership bjp is the answer bjp is on membership drive now so far 9.27 crore members were enlisted with bjp so far bjp has got 9.27 crore members it surpassed the membership of communist party of china and it is number 1 in the world in terms of membership and by april end it is expected to get membership of around 10 crore friends move on to the next one suravaram sudhakar reddy was elected general secretary of dash for the second consecutive time and the tenure will be 3 years he was recently elected as general secretary of communist party of india cpi for the second consecutive time and the tenure will be 3 years sri suravaram sudhakar reddy will be the will continue to be the general secretary of cpi for 3 more years recently cpi 22nd party congress was held at pondicherry or puducherry and this decision was taken during the party meeting right friends name the state where provincial civil services examination was cancelled due to paper leak recently the questions appeared on whatsapp much before the commencement of examination and subsequently uttar pradesh state government cancelled the provincial civil services examination due to paper leak look into the next one recently a popular tv channel has dropped celebrity tv presenter jeremy clarkson from the top gear motor show this top gear motor show is famous across the world with a viewership of almost 350 million and bbc took a decision recently to drop the celebrity tv presenter jeremy clarkson because he recently punched the producer recently jeremy clarkson punched the producer and as a disciplinary step bbc took this decision in spite of the highest viewership for his show top gear right friends look into the next one leaders of various arab countries took a decision to form a uniform military force to counter growing security threats we all very well know security is one of the biggest problems now in arab world to counter this problem recently arab countries took a decision to form uniform military force and recently arab summit was held in a resort near cairo in egypt the answer here is egypt recently arab summit was held in a resort near cairo in egypt the answer here is egypt look into the next unfortunate incident 
name the co-pilot who deliberately crashed the german wings flight german wings flight the budget airline of lufthansa airlines recently crashed killing all the 150 people on board including crew members the flight was on its way from barcelona in spain to a city in germany it was crashed in the alps mountains of france and it was ascertained finally the co-pilot of the airline andris lubridge who was suffering from depression committed suicide along with the 149 more passengers and crew members and very unfortunate incident after this incident several airlines in the country made it mandatory that two crew members should always be available in the cockpit two crew members should always be available in the cockpit recently many countries made it mandatory very unfortunate incident because of the depression he committed suicide along with 149 more passengers and crew members by deliberately crashing the plane look into the next one who among the following is one of the founders of android operate system android operating system the founders are andy rubin and rich miner please don't forget andy rubin and rich miner are the originators of this android operating system which became world famous right friends look at the next one name the service which was launched by the prime minister that allows people to receive tweets by government leaders over mobile phones when any government functionary maybe the prime minister maybe the chief minister if they tweet they will be transmitted to the mobile of common man so for that recently prime minister launched the service which is known as twitter samvad please don't forget the scheme is a twitter samvad where the tweets of famous personalities maybe policy decisions of the government will be transmitted to the mobiles of common persons this is a twitter samvad service recently the ceo of twitter met the prime minister of the country friends look at the next one two lieutenants of indian navy were killed when the dornier aircraft crashed off the coast of goa one dornier aircraft recently crashed near goa coast and unfortunately two out of three lost their lives two lieutenants of indian navy lost their lives and this dornier 228 actually dornier aircraft used to be manufactured by german firm subsequently under licensing in india hindustan aeronautics limited or hal is at present manufacturing these aircrafts these two lieutenants lost their lives when the dornier aircraft crashed into arabian sea recently next one yukiya amano who met the prime minister recently is the director general of international atomic energy agency international atomic energy agency is headquartered in vienna in austria the headquarters of iaea is vienna in austria and its director general yukiya amano recently met the prime minister this iaea looks into various safeguards when nuclear energy is used for civilian purposes like generation of power right please look into the next one government recently reduced domestic natural gas price recently government reduced domestic natural gas price this is for the first time government reduced the price of domestic natural gas and the price was reduced by around 8 to 9% based on the gross calorific value 
cross calorific value is the amount of heat generated when combustion takes place and recently the cost per unit is reduced from 5.05 dollars to 4.56 dollars this mmbtu is the unit this one and gcv we will deliberate in some other class in detail and please remember government of india recently reduced the price of domestic natural gas from 5.05 dollar per unit to 4.56 dollars per unit there is a reduction of around 8 to 9 percent right friends look at the next one agriculture ministry has recently notified the establishment of a price stabilization fund in the budget documents in the budget speech of the honorable finance minister price stabilization fund was mentioned and for this year 500 crore allotment was done what is the purpose of price stabilization fund when there is problem in the market government will purchase that with the use of this price stabilization fund when there is some problem in the market especially many times the cost of tomatoes the cost of onions may come down drastically and under such circumstances government will come forward to purchase these agricultural products by utilizing this price stabilization fund and for that purpose this price stabilization fund is used and corpus mentioned in the budget is 500 crore and initially this fund will be made available for onions and potatoes the answer here is onions and potatoes and friends with this let us conclude this question and answer session for 13th week part 2 please do join for 14th week have a nice time thank you